my episode 71 of FTB University 1.16 series. So, in the last episode, we played around with... What did we play around with? Oh, yes. We played... No, what? we didn't play with a QIO drive. All right. What did we play with? I don't even remember what I did last time. Wow. This is not good. We're off to a bad start already. Uh... Well, actually, I made some major big changes. Um, actually, no, it was the QIO drive, I believe. Yes, so, made a few changes. As you might have noticed, I don't have any more storage drawers at all. I decided to put them all in the QIO drive. And I didn't realize that I had over, what, 2 million items. But I thought I would have a lot more than that. But I... up. I uh, did some upgrading, got some time dilating QIO drives, as well as got more emeralds from a villager out in the, uh, way over there in the village, who was, like, trading coal for emeralds. So I was like, sweet, I have a ton of that, here you go. I wanted to steal him, but I couldn't. I didn't have the necessary resources or anything like that. So, I definitely did that, and, uh, I came across a problem that I knew I was gonna have, so... Oh, that's right. I made the importers and exporters last episode. That's right. Okay. Not the QIO drive. Yes. So, I decided to use that QIO importer to put it in this diamond chest as kind of like a way to be like, hey, bam. Cool. Go straight into the system. And for all of the, like, items that uh, need to be smelted are going through the QIO exporter, and all of them have been filtered. So every time it gets an item through the system, it goes straight into here, straight into the drawers, straight into this chest, and into my uh, into my system, ready to be smelted. That way, I didn't have to break much. It was it's fantastic. Also, uh, I don't know if I made this last time, but there's a yes, I did talk to you about that. I remember that now. So this episode has a lot to do with making an actual great suit of armor which actually is going to protect me and it's the mecha suit from mechanism so we're definitely going to be working on that today i also told you in the past that i wanted to work on some form of a spawner um although i didn't necessarily work on this spawner because this is kind of more like hey i'm going to manually uh spawn creatures that i need right well, this one is more of a natural spawner, which you can actually do in vanilla Minecraft. Um, but I basically made this little area here super, super dark. And I have, like, I just wait for mobs to spawn, and once they hit this laser, they die, and it goes straight into the hopper, straight into that chest outside that you just saw. It's pretty basic. Um, I waited a whole day. Didn't get much, but I did get some items here and there. Also... I uh, did a little more research, and I lit up as much as lit up the area as much as I could. That way, there isn't many, many mobs spawning. Even though I see a ton of mobs in the mini map over there spawning, um, but yeah, this is all I got so far. But for this though, I definitely want to get some cursed earth, and cursed earth basically increases the spawn rate drastically. But the only issue is I need a wither rose, and in order to get a wither rose, you need to actually have a wither kill a mob and so I gotta have a wither kind of flying around here and I don't have the necessarily necessary necessarily the materials to make the wither so with that being finished and whatnot uh, let's go get started on the mecha suit here so yeah had to go into the nether to get nether right so what I have done is I decided, hey, I'm going to find some Ancient Abyss. Because this is the first time I've ever made Netherite, by the way. Uh, ancient Abyss. I was like, cool. So, it takes some dust. Well, you know, all, got, all that kind of crazy stuff. I kind of found it in some... What is it called? Flip Goblin? Or, no, Piglin. Piglin base. I found some. I was like, cool. So, I'm going to use my digital miner. Put it in it. Filter it. And it, it made it so much easier to actually just mine ancient debris around the nether. Like, I get, like, at least 40 per chunk. So I decided I think that's enough netherite scrape, scrap. And on top of that, you can make netherite scrape through the enrichment chamber. Actually, 
through a pressure first into an enrichment chamber, which will give you uh, three or two. I think it gives you two. And that's why I got two stacks of that. So, first time doing this, and I'm definitely going to need some diamonds. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I now can just mine diamonds whenever I want because I finally figured out how to get diamond ore without using silk touch. And that it's this beauty right here. This machine, I completely forgot about this machine, the combiner, which basically can combine like dust into cobblestone to make ore. So it's fantastic. And I've actually learned a lot from the QIO dash dashboard. All my items are in here now. So um, probably in the next episode, I'm going to straight up make the super critical phase shifter so I can get antimatter so I can make the big drives. The one that contains like 16 million items. It's insane. Um, and over 8,000 types of items. So, of course, I will be using Applied Energistics in the future. Maybe. Maybe for something completely different, but not for my main system. But anyways, now that we finally finished that, let's make the Mega Suit. Because I am so excited about making this bad boy. See how I have 500 diamonds now? Okay. So, first things first, you gotta make a full suit of armor from what I, from what I know. It's been a while since I've straight up made this. There we go. Alright, cool. Made the diamond armor, so I'm gonna need a smithing table. Put this in here, and it's kind of funny, you only need one netherite scrape. Or not, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, I gotta make netherite ingots first. Hold on, hold the phone. You gotta make netherite ingots first, and then... Then you can make the netherite armor, because this is the first time I've ever made netherite armor. So we'll take about a stack of that, put this in here. Speaking of which, uh, for the super critical um, uh, phase shifter, I have all the materials to all of the materials to make the SPS casing which uh, is expensive like it requires so many polonium pellets and I have all of this and I have all of this and I have all that it's crazy expensive but I think it's gonna be worth it especially with antimatter and whatnot so okay back to what I was doing sorry my ADHD brain anyways so made that Gonna have to make some netherite bars. Decided not to uh, do this because uh, I just wanted to just, you know, I don't make items off cam that I haven't made yet. Most of the time. Yeah, 32. I think 32 bars is suffice. I'll just keep some nether scrap just in case. So we go to the smithing table, put the diamond helmet on, bam. We now have netherite. That is a first. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. So this is the best armor in the game, from what I hear. Cover me into Briss. <laughs> That's a funny achievement name. So, finally made that. I can now make the mecha suit. So we'll make the mecha suit boots first. By the way, this honestly is expensive, but since when you get all the items after making so much of like other items, you kind of have scraps left over. So there we go. Made the mecha suit, mecha pants, mecha helmet, and the mecha suit. And now I officially have, I'll put this down. The mecha suit. Oh, wow. Hold on a second here. F3. Nope. Oh. Is it F5? There it is. Look at that. Look at that beautiful armor set. And <laughs> I like the HUD. It tells you if I'm going south, east, west, north. <laughs> it tells you the longitude, latitude. Oh, that is crazy cool. Nice. Okay. Definitely going to have to put this stuff away. And the modification station, which... Oh, I need steel casing. Okay, hold on a second here. The modification station allows you to basically modify 
the mecha suit. And there's a lot of things you can modify. And would you look at that? Bam. I'm going to put it right... I don't even know how big this is. Oh, cool. Oops. Of course. I always break glass when I'm trying to break something else. There we go. Cool. Oh, it needs to be powered up, too. Okay. So we'll actually put it closer to here. Actually, we'll put it right here. Oh, wait. That's <laughs> logical transporter. My bad. Man. Um, I don't have any places to put it. Definitely going to need some cables here. I got about 35 ultimate, so it should be good. Let's just put that bad boy over here. I just wanted, I, I might as well put it over here. And then bam. Oh. Lock in the item. Ah, crap. Um, this work? Uh, of course not. Dang it. It might be a little bit longer than 10 minutes, because I kind of want to upgrade it, too. Maybe, depending on how expensive the items are. Just kind of fix that later. Oh my gosh. You gotta go all the way around. Is it charged? I don't know if it's charged. If it's powered up or not. Also in the future, I gotta make a tree and farming. For sure. Automated system. Nope, okay. It's charging up now. So I could put one right here. Alright, cool. So now I guess I can modify it with chips and whatnot. So let's let's see if we can find a nice easy chip we can use. Let's see. Quest book. Uh no rewards for that. Okay. So mod units. There are a ton of mod units. So let's go check these out here. Geothermal generator, which I think against heat sources, which would be nice. Energy unit increases maximum energy capacity. Laser refracts and safely does the hit any mech suit armor piece. Radiation shield. Ooh, that's nice. Shearing. Farming allows for soil to log stripping and soil flattening. I guess that's for the mecha tool. Amplifies melee attack on players or mobs. Okay, let us let me see if I can find one uh, for uh, jetpack. Okay, jetpack unit applies a hydrogen fuel jetpack to the mecha suit, which that is quite expensive because I don't have a regular jetpack. Oof. Okay. Let's find something else for now. Plays the current use. It automatically feeds the player nutritional paste. This is something I could do. Wrong snugget. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe the next episode, for sure. Uh, it's This episode's going long enough. So, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. I upload videos every Friday. Um, I also live stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 PST. So, please, uh, go ahead and watch me like play random games from time to time. Alright? Watch this too. I hope you all have a good day. And uh...